What's going on? Ginard here and we are going to configure a Wi-Fi router to its maximum security. Now I have here an old Cisco Wi-Fi router. Make sure that your Wi-Fi router is powered on. When you're going to plug your cable, make sure you plug it any of these LAN ports here or the switch ports, not on the one port or Ethernet port. If your Wi-Fi router is brand new, you can see the username and password at the back here. However, if it's old and you cannot see a username or password like mine, or maybe you cannot access your Wi-Fi router, I have a video, you can check that one on how to hard reset any Wi-Fi router so that we can start on the same page. Let's get started. Now just go on and open your browser. I have it on mine. Now to access your Wi-Fi router, you need to get the IP address of the router. We can go to CMD and then IP config. And then you can see it here, you have the default gateway. Ethernet adapter default gateway because this is connected to my Ethernet adapter. That's the IP address of our router. Go back to our browser, type in here 192.168.1.1. Now we have the login page. The default username of this one would be admin in admin. Now once we're in, the first thing we're going to do is go to administration and change the admin password with something difficult, at least 12 characters. After changing the password of the admin, we have another setting here that I like with Cisco that it will allow you to use HTTPS because if you're going to use HTTP on this dashboard, you can see it there, not secure. You can easily hack this one via brute force attack or they can sniff the packets if you are connecting to your router and then hack this router. We're going to save that one, continue. And then we're going to be redirected to HTTPS. Click advance, advance, proceed. There you go, admin, and then our password. Login. The next thing we're going to do is go to wireless manual. Let's do a manual configuration with this one. Network SSI, the name, you need to change this one. So let's just change this one with something my Wi Fi. You have an option of the SSID to be broadcasted, or you can disable this one. And only those who know that there's a my Wi Fi SSID can use that one. So every time they're going to add a Wi-Fi, they need to know the network name. It can help a little bit in security because hackers can just use a sniffing tool and they can get the SSID name. Um, save this one. Continue. Wireless security. And the next thing we're going to do is go for WPA2 personal. Some routers would say WPA2 AES encryption. That would be... The best choice for you also so we're going to put in our password at least 12 characters with a number special character upper in lowercase so that it will be very hard for hackers to crack the password a number another number another number there so you can save that one Wireless MAC filter, the features of Wi-Fi routers that I like, wherein you can block unknown users connecting to your Wi-Fi. So even if they have cracked your Wi-Fi password, they have stolen your Wi-Fi password, with this MAC filter, you can allow who is going to be able to connect to your Wi-Fi. So give you an example, I'm just going to enable this one. We can prevent pieces listed below. Anything that we are going to list here, it's either we are going to prevent them or we're going to permit them. Most of the time, by my experience, I like using permit. I'm just going to put all the MAC address of the devices here, and then this Wi-Fi router is going to permit them to connect to the network. Any MAC address that is not listed here will not be able to connect, even if they have the Wi-Fi password. So how are we going to get the MAC address of a Wi-Fi device? CMD here, and then IP config slash all. You can see here Wi Fi adapter. And then you can see physical address. You can copy this one and then you can paste it there. Now, if you have any questions, 
let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more videos to come bye bye